Darren Burka with Burka Brothers Farms in Snowden, Saskatchewan. Uh, we run the header in wheat, oats, canola, and faba beans. Like the flex is unbelievable. Until you try it, you don't know. But when you do try it, you wouldn't want to go back to anything else. Today we're in Darlingford, Manitoba, and we're going to try this gearing hoff in soybeans for the first time. And uh, we're optimistic with it. We have runways on this field, and I think it'll be a good test for it. The need for more flex, uh, we farm in an area with a lot of rolling hills and drainages and um, a, a rigid header. We're already having problems with 30 foot rigid headers to follow in some of those areas. And we went to bigger combines with 45 foot heads on them. We need something that can flex and the Gerenhoff fit the bill. It, it flexes really well, it works good. The flex of it really intrigued me and it, it works amazing going through ditches and headlasts and, and uh, the way it follows the ground. It actually will cut lower than some of the competitor headers that way because the way it flexes through. It basically shades the ground when needed. With the crops laying down, it'll pick oh, pretty much everything right off the ground. And on bigger straight cut headers, you always have to make a second pass on ditches and the gear and off, you don't have to. It's just a one pass deal. I think it's three feet of total flex on the machine. So we were, we were having some issues on one field there where 30 foot was having trouble picking everything up. And I went in there with the 45 foot and was able to clean it up, no problems. It wasn't pushing dirt and it was getting right down to the ground. I like headlands and stuff with the side gauge wheels that they can be adjusted to lift the header and lower it. Often the RM puts a little bit of ditch dirt in or you have loads from other fields and you can really set it nicely in every condition. It's basically like cultivator wings where the, the outside wings go down and move up to the contour of the land. It'll hug the ground in basically like a V and we'll be able to pick everything up. The reason we bought it was because the integrated air system, it uh, really keeps the crops back of the night and it seems to work well in pretty much any crop. It's set up right on top of the night bore. It's got a fan that blows through underneath the header and it directs the air up onto the canvas so that as the grain comes over the knife, it blows it onto the canvas further so it stays on the header and instead of falling on the ground. You could see it blowing the seeds up on the canvas as you're combining. You could see it blowing the chaff and everything, so it's saving it from the cutter bar and losses. Seems to really help to keep the shattering losses off the ground. I noticed walking between the other heads in the morning, there's noticeably more shattered canola on the cutter bar on those ones than there is on the Garenhoff. It improves bushel per acre because you do lose quite a bit. Uh, for rolling off canvases and the way it's sealed up, you're catching pretty much everything. Another thing that's really nice on it, the dividing boards on this header are really thin. So really, we really noticed that in the standing canola with uh, our other headers, they have wide divider boards on them and there's a lot of shelling happens then pushing the crop over sideways and the uh, divider boards on this header are really thin and a lot less loss because of that. I really like how the knife drive is driven from the center. One benefit is you're able to keep your um, outside dividers really thin that way without having motors on the outsides. The knife drive when it got pressure it hit a rock or uh, was going to break a a blade or something has stopped and you could reset it without wrecking a whole bunch more things. The main goal always is to get as much of the crop in the bin as you can because every every bushel on the ground is a dollar loss. We try to buy headers according to getting the most crop in the bin instead of on the ground. If you have a lot of rolling ground and you're having trouble with not being able to get your header down and cut all your crop off, this is probably the best header out there for that. We had a very good relationship with Gearing Off this year and really enjoyed the 40 foot and we ended up 
uh, trading that one in for 245s for next year. And we're really looking forward to working with them more.